this is a uh, comedy was so ha hot. Comedy was so hot back in the late '80s. They were putting it on every show. Every show was putting on comics in some way. So I got a call saying American Bandstand wants to have you on doing stand-up comedy. And I, as a kid, I grew up Dick Clark, American Bandstand, big deal. I go American Bandstand. I'm going to go on American. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm going to do American Bandstand. And it was like decent money. It wasn't just scale. Dick Clark decided to do stand-up comics on American Bandstand. So I go to the, the thing, and the, the kids, and I say kids, because by this time, you know, I'm in my 30s. These kids are dancing, they're dancing, they're dancing. They stop the dancing. Dick Clark's up there. He's got this, like, plastic uh, acrylic or whatever stand. He, he says, all right, we're going to bring a comedian out right now. Everybody gather around. So all these kids come up. And, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> they're still kind of dancing and moving. And he goes, all right. This, and he gives my introduction. You know, tonight's show, Letterman Show, please welcome comedian Rich Scheid. And I come out, I start doing one joke, nothing, two jokes, nothing. The kids are like, <sighs> he goes, <laughs> Dick goes, stop, stop, stop. Rich, stop right there. Please stop. I stop. He says, listen, kids, this is a very funny man. When he talks, you laugh. They took him literally. <laughs> All right, Rich, start again. I start talking. <laughs> They don't know what they're laughing at. They're not. They're laughing at the setup. Some are laughing at the punchline. They laugh as hard as they could, as long as they could. Then somebody else would laugh. It was a, a wave, an inconsistent wave. I start doing my act in a reggae rhythm. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm bouncing it, trying to find a place where I could actually do a joke in between their laughter. They did three of us that day and never did anymore.